in a country with skyrocketing crime that is now out of control. This past holiday weekend turned out to be a deadly bloodbath on city streets. More than 230 people were fatally shot in over 500 shootings within two days across the country. What is going on in Joe Biden's America? Lawlessness. Chicago suffered the greatest bloodshed, led by the failure of Mayor Lori Lightfoot. This weekend alone, more than 100 people were shot in Chicago, including a one-month-old baby shot in the head. 16 others were left dead. Remember, Chicago has some of the strictest gun laws in the country. That's not working for them. So why are we caught in this endless cycle of violence? Because weak on crime leaders keep letting the criminals out of jail to walk the streets. Well, joining me now is retired New York Police Department Lieutenant and criminal justice expert, Dr. Darren Porcher. Uh, doctor, it's great to have you on the program. Grant, it's a pleasure. I've been waiting for this opportunity for a long time. Oh, well, you make my day, my man. And thank you so much for all no, you you've done to keep day. Americans safe, New Yorkers. <laughs> well, we're even then, all right? Hey, I got to ask you, though, what is driving this violence? What's driving this violence is the democratically elected mayors throughout the course of the country. When we remove those democratically elected mayors, then we can set forth on a precedent to experience precipitous drops. One of the things that you mentioned earlier is Mayor Lightfoot up in, I refer to it as Chirac, being Chicago, because it reminds me of the peak of the insurgency over in Iraq in connection with the gun violence that they're experiencing. No one is doing anything in Chicago in terms of trying to reduce the crime. And then Mayor Lightfoot, she conveniently uses her position as a black woman to shadow or detract from the real problem, which is her incompetence. Her inability to invoke a level of skill, of a skill set that can reduce crime is what the problem is. Because believe it or not, the, the Chicago Police Department is fully capable and aware of how to reduce the crime. And we, f we focus on something that we see as targeted policing, meaning you drive the surge of police officers in the area where you have the greatest amount of crime. However, she doesn't understand that, so she uses a series of red herrings, such as race, her being a woman, and that's a, an absolute piece of hogwash. The practitioners, the practitioners and law enforcement in Chicago know how to get it done. However, she's handcuffing the officers and letting the criminals run rampant in that city, and that's well. what we're seeing as a result. Lieutenant, I've worked in a number of cities across the country, and the cities that had the least amount of crime were cities that found a way to have the police work with the communities, and the communities want the police there, and everybody was working together. With Lori Lightfoot, de Blasio, Garcetti in L.A., all pushing the community against the cops, you're never going to solve the crime problem from a law enforcement perspective if this partnership with the community isn't happening and there's no way that happens under their leadership. You're absolutely right. Policing community should work in tandem in connection with reducing crime. That policing community relationship should be symbiotic. However, it's not happening because we have the politicians that are at the forefront that are separating that relationship. And I give you a case in point. We look at Mayor de Blasio here in the city of New York. Whenever you hear him speak out, it's speaking out against the police. It's not speaking out against the crime that's plaguing the city of New York. The crime has reached epic proportions in the city of New York. However, the bozo that we have being Mayor de Blasio is clearly taking a step back because he's inept. He doesn't have the capable skill set to focus on the crime that is destroying the city. Let the practitioners right. do Let their job. Ask, Let me ask you this one question. With just a short amount of time left. Do you think they want to stop the violence, or are they just naive at how to do it, or even worse, do they want the violence? I don't think that they want the violence. I think that they want the violence stopped. But I think that they're folding to the sentiment of the mob and because they believe the mob is going to support them as they progress as political figures and it's blowing up in their face as a result, creating carnage and deaths throughout these cities that they govern. All right. You make me a deal, Dr. Darren Porcher, lieutenant. You got to come back on again. I love having you on. This was uh, should have happened way, way sooner, my man. And I appreciate I appreciate you coming in tonight. It sounds good, Grant. And I'm buying the next time I come on. 
Uh, all right, that sounds good. Tito's It'll on the road. It'll be hot dogs me. and sauerkraut. Right, It'll road. be fully American <laughs> all right. when I'm buying. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Um, all right, folks. Look, the bottom line is we got to get it under control. It's not under control. It is in some cities that have common sense and critical reasoning, not in these liberal cities. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.